these people were apparently sponsored by a sitting MP of the ruling party, that these fellows smuggled in these smoke pistols, uh, which shows a very serious security lapse. They did that is better than if they had actually tried to kill people. This is the anniversary of a tragic assault in parliament where seven of our people died. The new building does not seem to be configured very well when it comes to security by comparison with the arrangements in the old building. These people were apparently sponsored by a sitting MP of the ruling party. I don't want to take any names until the details are publicly known. Secondly, that these fellows smuggled in these smoke pistols, uh, which shows a very serious security lapse. Thirdly, that not only did they fire the pistols, they leapt into the floor, they shouted some slogans which are not audible to some of us, but the fact that they did that is better than if they had actually tried to kill people. This is the anniversary of a tragic assault in Parliament where seven of our people died. I mean, we, we can't, you know, take these matters lightly. Uh, the new building does not seem to be configured uh, very well when it comes to security by comparison with the arrangements in the old building. And so all of these concerns are being raised and there's a great deal of agitation. Uh, the smoke was deemed to be non-poisonous. But because the smell of the smoke is still in the house, many MPs were unwilling to continue. Uh, but that's still in the air. So um, in, in the end, I think what is happening is that the Speaker is calling all the floor leaders for a discussion at four. I'm sure these and other concerns will be laid before him and then the Speaker will have to take a decision. I think they do want a response. But the fact is that uh, at this point, uh, there's the immediate issue of how the house was being run, what kind of breaches took place with relation to the Lok Sabha. And secondly is the question of uh, a detailed response on the security arrangements for Parliament which should come from the Home Minister himself.